So what should IT buyers be thinking about then when they're evaluating open source? Well, I think one of the key things is it changes the purchasing cycle. I mean, we play this sort of, um, uh, Cheryl McKinnon from Nux Nuxio uh, makes a very nice analogy. She talks about like security theater, you know, we have to take your shoes off and you're going through all the security line at the airport and some of that stuff you're like, wait, they already checked my passport two or three times. Why are they doing that? Right. She makes the analogy that that's like the RFP process. <laughs> so if you think about the request for proposal, request for quote, uh, bringing in all the suppliers, the dog and pony show, that's a very expensive process and doesn't necessarily take you any further in terms of business benefit. With open source, your ability to say, wait, okay, I want some reporting tools, I'm going to download BERT, I'm going to start using it and move on accordingly. Now, if you want to pay for services or, you know, buy additional products that make, make that a more effective environment, fine. But the ability to just take something and get started, I think that's really changed the way uh, we should be thinking about how we adopt IT because it can be adoption centric. Let's get users using it and then worry about making it a stronger production environment or something that we have a services engagement to cover it after the fact. Mm -hmm. So really I think that that's one of the probably most significant changes in IT right now. I mean we regularly see the difference between, I mean in, in fact one of my favorite examples is a large investment bank and they're in a situation where they're doing an 18 month SOA RFP. Um, in the meantime they've actually just gone and started downloading some open source tools and building it. So they've got this sort of fig leaf of respectability, this, this RFP theater in terms of purchasing, but the amount of cycles wasted in there seem, seem way too much. You want to get your technical people with the tools in hand, build something that works, and then go, okay, we need more of that. So it's really a more prototype-driven approach, uh, and certainly one that's far more economical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I think those are some of the issues, and it, it's really, again, in, in terms of that, how big is your user population? Traditionally, that's something you're afraid of. You're saying to yourself, capacity planning, how many licenses are we going to have to provide? This is going to be really expensive. With open source, you're much more in a position to say, well, let's give some users this software. Uh, let's see if it works. And again, if we want to harden that environment, we can do that after the fact. So to me, it, it, it's the ability to get uh, rapid business value with open source software is, is, is pretty hard to argue with. Um, it's a very, very uh, strong trend. Um, and again, in terms of the relationship with the web, if we think about cloud computing, generally that's all built on open source. I mean, uh, Amazon Web Services is something that everybody's talking about. Um, that actually runs on Red Hat. Uh, so we're seeing this appearing all over the place. And there are areas, in fact, where commercial and proprietary software is finding it difficult to inject itself. Um, this notion of, of big data, so we're going to we're going to analyze big data sets that we wouldn't previously have done. Well, how do you do that if you're restricted by a license per processor model? Very difficult if you're sticking everything in an Oracle database. Um, well, perhaps we could use MySQL. Um, and from an analytics uh, and reporting perspective, I mean, clearly, um, you know, I, I think Actuate and Bert have some pretty strong opinions about the choices you might make in that regard. Absolutely. So we're in an environment now where users are really pulling the software as opposed to our, you know, the big proprietary old stack vendors pushing software. Well, I think that's them. exactly right. Um, y y IT uh, generally, it, and pull is a great word, um, we've seen the pull of the lines of business, but I think now it's really even almost to the individual user. Um, now, I'm not saying that everybody should be downloading open source components and demanding that business supports them, but certainly in terms of the interaction patterns, we're seeing more and more of this. I mean, whether you call it consumerization of IT, the fact is, open source plays into that. I mean, I have an Android phone, um, you know, I just turn it on and it gets all my contact details, gets all of that good stuff, and, and uh, that's my choice. The organizations I'm talking to now are saying to themselves, well, you know, we have to support these range of devices. And again, I think the open source is beginning to play into that space. So it's kind of filling all of these niches. And anything where you've got sticker shock, I think is beginning to get much more problematical, um, certainly for the vendors. And, and, you know, really we should be trying to make life easier for, for the users. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you mentioned Amazon. I mean, in your opinion, are there other large proprietary vendors that are responding well to open source, doing a really good job of it? Um, or, or are they kind of behind the times? Yeah, sure. Um, I, 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 I really think that, that open source is just the, the context. I think that everybody to, does it now. Um, in fact, you know, if an organization is not doing it, um, they're not going to get very far, from, just from an economic perspective. So if we look at something like the Eclipse uh, framework, which began at, for IDEs, um, but is now used in reporting, and you know that only too well, um, the benefits of Eclipse uh, are immeasurable from an industry standpoint. I mean, yes, it has to be said, they've put some businesses out of business, because if you were just selling tools, not a great place to be. 
Uh, the flip side is, is, as I say, just from, from, from the economics of software development, really hard to fight that.